Welcome everyone. Second prep. Hi. Okay. So today mm -hmm, we will speak about the first lesson algebra. Okay, factorizing quadratic trinomial. Okay. So let's start mean of factorizing trinomial. Okay. Before we are starting that, must be first to make a version. Okay. About what we talked before. So give me attention here for our version. I want two numbers such that the product is 12 and their sum is equal 7. Ha ha! That's your time now. Think, huh? I will count from 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's wonderful, okay? Oh, I think we'll come with it. Yes, I hear you. Ah, uh, let's help other one can't come with it, okay? Let's play with, with them hmm, slowly to understand it. So first, product of two numbers is 12 and factor and their sum. So in times table 1, 1 times 12. Okay, it gave me 12. The factor here, 1 and 12. Their sum is equal 13. That's wonderful. Huh? But he wants the sum of 7. Mm -hmm, that's wrong here. What else? Here, the product here is 2 and 6. So the factor here will be 2 and 6. The sum is equal 2 plus 6 equal oh wow it's 8 but I want 7 mm -hmm. I need never need it okay what else mister the next mm, times table 3 which number times table 3 gave me 12 mister I can't remember the timetable okay I can help you do that 12 divided 3 using calculator if you want give you what yes give you 4 that's wonderful okay so 3 times 4 is equal 12 Huh? That's 3 and 4. The factor here, 3 and 4. So the sum is equal 7. Okay? So 7, he wants sum here, 7, he has a 7 here. That's correct. So the two numbers, I use it, 3 and 4, the product is equal 12, and their sum is equal 7. Uh huh. Now I think the place will be very easy. Make that hard for you. Okay? Ready? For hard playing? Yes, I think. Huh? What else? I want two numbers now I want that from you two numbers such that their product is equal 12 uh-huh and their difference is equal 4 <laughs> if I want, I want two number if you make times give me 12 but if I make the two number minus to give me 4 the difference between them this meaning the greatest one minus the smallest one okay so uh, first one, I will help you. Okay, and second, must be you do it with yourself. Oh wow! Here, I want the product of number twelve. Let's starting with number one. Okay, one times twelve is give me twelve. The factor will be one and twelve. So the difference between them is will be what? Twelve minus one, it's equal. Huh? Like that is equal eleven. But here I want four. No, I they never need it. What else? In time it's equal to, huh? Which number in times two give me twelve? Yes, do you remember it? Two times six is correct. The factor here will be two and six. If I make difference between them, so six minus two is equal four. Yes! He won't hear this four? That's correct, that's I need it. Now I think you know how to play. Now it's your time now. I want two numbers such such as that. Their product is twelve. And their difference is one. Mm -hmm. I give you five seconds, huh? To answer it. Huh? I will count. One, two, three, four. Huh, 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 huh. The last one, huh? Five. Yes, that's correct, huh? I think you'll come with it. Huh? Let's help, let's help your friends to answer it. Okay? To understand again. So, I do that again. I will start with time table one. 1 times 12 is equal to 12. The factor here would be 1 and 12. The difference, so I do that 12 minus 1 to give me 11. So, but I want 1 mister in difference. Not 11, so this is wrong. What else, mister? What about times table 2? 2 times 6 is give me 12. Wow, the factor would be 2 and 12, 2 and 6. So the difference between them is will be 6 minus 2, it's equal 4. But mister, I need 1. Not four. So it's wrong. What else? It's a good time table three. 
3 times what equal 12? Huh? We see that before? I said that before? Huh? Yes, 3 times 4 to give me 12. So the factor would be 3 and 4. So the difference between them, 4 minus 3 to give me 1. Yes, yeah, that's correct, I want 1. So the two number, if I do times, give me 12 with 3 and 4. If I make difference between them, it's give me 1. So that's now is correct. Okay? So two number would be 3 and 4. Okay? Aha, uh -huh. I think our brain is very smart. You are very smart to understand it. Now, in our vision, we make multiplying. That's what we talked about before. I have two presses here. The first presses was x plus 3. I want to make triangles. With other presses, we have x plus 4. So first, I do that. x go and make times with the first number here. So x times x give me x power 2. And second time, x go to other number. Huh? So x make times with 4 is give me 4x. This 4x here. Huh? But don't forget, 4 is positive and x is positive is become positive 4x. What about 3? 3 is positive. Go to the x make times with it. Okay? So it's become 3x. Positive and positive, it's become positive. So it's become positive 3x. 3 go to 2, 4, make times with it. Okay, so 3 times 4 equal what? Equal 12. That's correct. Positive and positive give me positive. Okay, so it's become positive 12. Okay, I found here in the middle, I found 4x and 3x. I will first, I will make sum between them. So, I do sum 4x plus 3x is give me 7x. So the result will be x per 2, 7x, and 12. Okay. So, Master, mm -hmm. found here that's our expression. Don't forget, the middle comes with sum of the two numbers, and the last one here is product of the last number, 3 and 4. Okay, the 12 here comes with time is 4, 3 and 4, the second term here and second term here. Okay, so the product of 3 and 4. So, I have here x power 2, 7x, and 12. This expression we call it as quadratic trinomial. What meaning of trinomial? Okay, we took that before. First, we took we, we, we took monomial. Okay, monomial. This meaning in the expression I have just one term. So if you found x over two is alone, says monomial. Okay, seven seven x is alone, that's monomial expression. Okay. So, mister, if I have two terms together as I, uh, x, as x power 2 and 12, 7 and 12, 7x and x power 2, 2 only, we call it as binomial. If you found three terms, huh, this we call it as trinomial. So, if you look at trinomial here, tri, it's meaning three, okay, as triangle, okay, this polygon has three sides. So, what meaning of tri, huh? Tries mean three, so I have expression have three terms we call it as trinomial. Okay, so you understand now what meaning of trinomial? Trinomial just meaning expression has three terms. What means what meaning of quad? Okay, quad or quadratic trinomial just meaning I have one expression or the expression from the second degree. I have x has power is power two. That's good as quad trinomial. Okay, so the first lesson in second prep. So, we'll call it as factorizing quad, uh, quadric trinomial, okay?